Hello, my name is Janet Turrell and I'm talking to you from the Church of St Mark the Evangelist in Hadlow Down. We're going to make something a bit special today, something with some, for some of the younger members of the church. A few weeks ago, Reverend Peter suggested that some of the youngsters that come to the church actually made illustrated the stories of the Bible. And I thought a good way of doing it might be to try and make some shadow puppets. So that's what I'm going to try and show you now. But first of all, before we start, we have to establish just what a shadow is. Now I'm sure a lot of you have made shadows. You will have made them in the playground. You will have made them in the school. You will have made them at home, in your bedroom. But you need something very special to make the shadows. Can you think what it is? It's a light. I've got a little puppet theatre here. I'm going to put the light on and put my hand between the light and the screen and suddenly I've got a shadow. In the playground when you're playing and the sun's shining, the sun is the light. In your bedroom at night, if the moon's shining through your window, you can make shadows on the wall in the moonlight. So that's how you make a shadow, but we're going to make some artificial shadows. We're going to make them with shadow puppets. And if you'd like to come and have a look here on the table, I've got some shadows made out of black card, which is one way that you can make these puppets. I'm going to show you now on my big screen just what those puppets look like with the light behind them. But first of all, you'll see me walk around the back of the screen. There we are. This was the first of the puppets I showed you. This is a silhouette in black card and he's got a moving arm as you can see and I'll show you how to do that later. This is the Cinderella puppet that I showed you earlier. There's little bits of colour introduced here by a little bit of chiffon on a hand and some tissue paper just over cuts that have been made in the black card. And finally there's this puppet which is a big Chinese dragon puppet, which has got lots of moving parts. And the colours made with bits of coloured tissue paper. Now, the puppets we're going to do later are going to have colours on them. So this is what they look like. First of all, I've got a butterfly. And then a little clown with moving legs. And these I'm going to show you how to make. They're very, very simple. So let's get started on these. The first thing you're going to need is a piece of white card like this. Don't make it too thin, otherwise the puppet will wobble around. And too thick, you won't be able to cut it. Then you need a pencil, you need some felt tip pens, a pair of scissors, and later you're going to need some wooden controls for your puppet like this. And we're going to need some cooking oil, a J cloth, and some paper fasteners if you've got moving parts on your puppet. These are called these paper fasteners I call split pins because you can split them up like that at the ends. And then in order to put the controls actually onto your puppet, you're going to need a drawing pin like this. Drawing pin. And very importantly, we're going to need some kitchen roll because it's going to get a bit messy later on. There we are. Now I thought it would be nice to actually do a shadow show of the shepherds discover, seeing the angels and discovering the baby Jesus. So first of all, I started drawing puppets. This is one that I did earlier on. This is an outline of a great big sheepdog. Next thing we'll do with this is to colour it in like this. And because I want a moving part on this sheepdog, I've actually cut off the ta tail bit at the end there. Let me see if I can do that for you. Cut off this bit here. 
and done a separate tail. You have to do a separate tail if you're moving it and you have to allow a little bit extra in order to put the split pin in to make it move. All right, I'm going to start cutting this out now. And it's very important when you're cutting out these shadow puppets to be very, very careful so that when you get to a little bit like the feet, instead of cutting right the way up there, which will make the puppet very, very fragile, I'm going to cut round so that we leave a little bit of white card there. And you'll see, you'll see that the white card disappears as soon as we oil the puppet. Nearly finished. Just going to cut round the ear and the nose and down into the neck. That's right, and back down to the feet. There we are, so there's one body. Should have really coloured in all this here. So what we'll do now is finish colouring this bit. And I'm not being particularly careful because I'm trying to make it look as if it's got some fur. And you can put colour on top of colour. I put yellow as the base of the dog and then just put brown and different coloured shades of brown on the top to make the fur. Now I'll cut out that tail so that it's quite separate. We're finished. Just cutting round the extra bit of the tail. There we are. So the tail is going to go like that onto the dog. And that's the bit that's going to be moving like that. Okay, let's put that on one side. This is the dog that we made earlier with the waggy tail, and this is a sheep, because we're going to be making the story, the Bible story, of the shepherds on the hill outside Bethlehem, when the angels come to visit them, and when they go to see Jesus in the stable. So now we get to the messy bit. We're going to turn the card over, Put it on something plastic, we've got an old plastic bag here, and the sheep over, and we're going to oil the puppet. Now, I'll show you what happens when we oil it. Some of you will already know, I should think. Now, you've got to be very, very careful. Don't use lots of oil. Don't want it sloshing around all over the place, because it, it tends to run everywhere. And I'm rubbing it in to the back of the card. And as I rub it into the back of the card, you'll see the colour start to appear. Can you see? You can see how much you've done if you hold it up to the light and you'll see that the colour has actually come through. Can you see the colour coming through there? And if you hold it up to the light, you'll see that it's actually starting to work. So this takes a little bit of time, all this rubbing it, and you've got to be very, very careful with little bits like the tail, because otherwise you're going to tear it. These puppets are quite fragile while they're being oiled, and if you've got little bits like tail and ears and noses and legs and things like that, you're going to find them falling off, and then you've got no way of putting them back on, because sellotape doesn't stick to things that are oiled, so you have to be very careful with them. Right. There are the puppets covered in oil. Let's check that they actually, the light is actually going through them. So the light is going right through the puppet. Now, very importantly, we need to mop up the oil. So there we are. That's why we need the kitchen roll. Otherwise, it gets horrible. So take your puppet, dry it off carefully, and if you can, leave it overnight and it'll dry out completely, 
and it'll still you'll still be able to see through it there we are there's one one shape And now I'm going to put a control on this sheep. So I'll need a drawing pin. I'll need to decide where the point of balance is because if I put a drawing pin on the foot, it'll just tip like that when it's actually performing on the screen. So the point of balance really is going to be right in the middle there. And then I pop the drawing pin into the end of the wooden dowel. Press it down so that it's nice and tight. And we've got a puppet. Got a little sheep puppet. Right, we're going to finish the dog now. The one that we've just done. And I need my glasses on for this because I can't see what I'm doing. Right, first of all, we need one of these split pins, these paper fasteners, because we're going to make the moving part. So the tail is going to go underneath there like that all right so i pop the pin in the top and into there and then open it up so that we've got a moving bit like that all right then we need to put the controls on now you might find you need some help with this especially if you're using the wooden pieces of wooden dowel you need two drawing pins and you need two pieces of wooden dowel now, do you remember I said earlier on that we've got to find the point of balance? Well, with this dog, with this dog, there's a little, make a little hole here, just at the bottom of the neck, and that's where the main control is going to go. So it's a little bit awkward to do, so be very, very careful and don't push the pin into your fingers. And then we need another one on the end of the tail to actually help the tail to wag. There we are. And suddenly we've got a dog with a wagging tail. Dog chasing the sheep. <laughs> if you haven't got pieces of wooden dowel like this, you can always use a piece of stiff cardboard like this. This can be your control. So what you need to do then is staple it onto the back of the puppet. Or, if you haven't got any staples, you can sew it on. Let's staple it on and see how it works. There we are. So you've got a control for your sheepdog. And put another one on the end of the tail there. Right? Now it's no good making lots of puppets if you don't have a show to make them for. And so as I said, we're going to make the story of the shepherds and the angels and the shepherds going to see Jesus in the, in the stable. So these are the puppets that I've made before. So let me introduce you to them. You've already seen the sheep. This is the sheep dog. These are the shepherds, two of the shepherds with a flock of sheep out on the, on the hillside outside Bethlehem. And this is another shepherd who's got a moving pot, who's shaking his staff at the angels. These are the shepherds when they go to see Jesus in the stable. These are the angels who arrived, and this is the star that will be floating around. And of course, then we come to the stable, and there's Mary and Joseph. Before we start to do the show, I thought I'd show you how I make bits of scenery. I just make them out of black card. So if I go around the back, I'll show you what we've got. We've got some cliffs, some mountains, whatever you like there. And here we've got a stable, just made out of black card with little bits of colour introduced. And on the other side, there's a little bit of a town 